Friends, here is a 12 year young female with implantation dermoid in her left ear lobe which was removed and suturing done. You can see the stitch line both anterior and posterior surface. In posterior surface, the stitch line is bigger. Uh, the implantation dermoid was in posterior surface. That's why the stitch line is bigger in posterior surface than the anterior layer. Now I am going to remove the stitches. Usually in face and ear lobe, the stitches are removed on fourth post of day as the healing is better in face and for a better cosmetic result. I usually use 5O or 4O nylon for stitching in face and ear lobe for better cosmetic result. One can see I am just removing the stitches and just mark. While removing the stitches, the posterior surface, I am just turning the pinna anteriorly. By doing this, you can see the stitch line is carved anteriorly. So there is definite pressure over the anterior surface stitches. So if I remove the anterior surface stitches first, then while removing the posterior surface stitches, there will be pressure over unprotected stitch line in anterior layer. So there is a chance of disruption. So the rule is one should remove the posterior surface stitches first while the anterior surface stitches are intact. After removing the posterior surface stitches, one can remove the anterior layer stitches easily without any manipulation. So there is less chance of wound disruption. That is the rule. But while stitching after surgery, we usually do the reverse. We first stitch the anterior surface followed by the posterior surface. This is the reverse rule. One can see, I have just finished the stitch removal, the posterior surface. One can see the posterior surface stitch line. Now I am coming to the anterior surface. Here I am removing the anterior surface stitches. No manipulation, no pressure over the pinna or the stitch line. So there is less chance of disruption. This is the technique. After removal of the stitches, I just put an adhesive tape for 2-3 days for extra protection. You will see, I am just finishing this stitch removal. Here one can see the anterior surface after stitch removal. And this is the adhesive tape I have applied. Thanks for watching and kindly subscribe to my channel. Thank you.